Moths are very interesting porous materials that they were discovered more or less about 20 years ago. These are made from a metal atom or metal cluster, which is connected with an organic molecule to another cluster, another organic molecule. And finally, they itself assembled in a three-dimensional uh, network. They have extremely high porosities. So some of these materials are able to reach 8,000 square meters per gram. Some years ago, people started looking at the possibility of encapsulating drugs inside the porosity of these materials and then to have a slow release. And what we are trying to do now is not only to work with the small drug molecules, but also with, to work with macromolecules, and in particular something like DNA or RNA uh, macromolecules, so we can put them inside the porosity and we can protect them from enzymatic degradation. So the good thing is that it's highly specific. They don't have too much uh, side, uh, side effects compared to other very toxic uh, chemodrugs. You can really tailor to specifically stop the propagation of one protein inside the cells and not the other one, so you only kill cancer cells or you don't allow them to continue growing. We started looking for materials, MOVs, with biocompatible metals and then we were looking also for MOVs with a porosity which is big enough to be able to accommodate this siRNA molecule. We use supercomputers to screen the porosities of all these structures and then find a material that is, uh, has this porosity which is large enough for this RNA molecule we had. Because we knew the structure of the RNA molecule is very easy to start uh, inserting this molecule inside the porosity and trying to see if it fits or doesn't fit. One of the uh, main questions as well we had is, is the siRNA molecule inside the porosity or is it outside the porosity just on the external surface of the, of the nanoparticle? If it's on the external surface, the problem is that it can be degraded by enzymes. So we needed to put this inside. Using some super resolution microscopy techniques, we were able to analyze the localization of these uh, macromolecules. We found that it was inside, we found that it was protected from enzymatic degradation, and then we were able to put them inside the cells. Basically, it's a platform technology that we can use for almost any molecule and many diseases, not only for cancer. The good thing with metal organic frameworks is that we can really tune all the properties from all these materials. In the last uh, 20 years, there have been about 80 to 90,000 different metal organic frameworks. So you can imagine how versatile these materials are. We can choose MOVs with different porosities and they can be tailored to the properties of these molecules we want to encapsulate. If we focus on difficult diseases, these materials are going to have a big opportunity.